Right guys, this is a very quick guide on how to use your extended screens on your TrackMan system. Now, as you can see, we've got two 55 inch touchscreen monitors here in our demo room, and you can use both to get a really good look at what you're doing on TrackMan. Now, first thing we're going to do is show you how to do it in shot analysis, because there's only really two ways that you have to learn to use these touchscreens. Okay, now we're loaded into shot analysis. This is basically the original way that TrackMan was laid out, and it means you can have a look at almost all of your swing in one place at a time. Right guys, so as you can see, we've hit a shot away on shot analysis here. And if we want to change what we're gonna see, we have loads of options of how to do that. So you've got your primary screen on the left and your extended screen is changed using this bottom button here. So on the bottom left in shot analysis, click extended screens, and then you've got the option of changing what you're seeing on that right hand screen. So I'll if you push back so they can see what's changing here. So we've currently got the club delivery camera and the numbers. So you can use all this by using your touch screen. So you can see the club coming in, coming out the heel of the club, I'm not perfect. And you've got all the numbers there on the right hand side. We can change what we see here very, very simply. So we can go and see the dispersion or we can see the side view or a video view of my swing. You can have a look at impact numbers. There's loads you can do. So you just change this all from this primary screen on the bottom left for shot analysis. Now, this is the only program in TrackMan where the extended screen is based down here, except for the TrackMan Combine, which is basically shot analysis, but with a guided practice session. So. Remember that for shot analysis, it's in the bottom left. Now we're gonna move on to some of the virtual golf options. So we're gonna to go to the practice range. Okay guys, now you can see we're in a virtual golf environment. So we're onto the practice range. Now this place to change the extended screens applies to every single other program that you're gonna go into on TrackMan. So we can go in to find the extended screens. All you go into is the TrackMan menu at the top and then extended screens is in the top right here. Now this will bring up this screen. It's basically a blown up version of what you got from the swing analysis one. And you can go in and you can change what you see on that right hand screen. But as you can see, if Ollie pans back, once you open this up, the right hand screen goes blank. Now don't worry, that's not a problem. All you have to do to see what you'll see on that screen is press show preview. And you can see it there. It'll show for a couple of seconds and then go away. Now I can change this. I can put this into impact numbers, for example, and we'll see something different. Same thing applies, you can go through and choose what you want to see and all you have to do is press save and then you're good to go. Now we're ready to play here so we can use those extended screens to get a fantastic look at our swing throughout the entire TrackMan software. So whether you're in shot analysis, the practice ranges or on the course, you'll get an idea of what you're doing to the golf ball. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you have any other questions, please feel free to check out the videos in this playlist because there's the 10 most common questions about TrackMan.io so that you can understand how to use your system nice and efficiently. See you very soon.